It is a quick turnaround today for the Binghamton Devils. A 3 p.m. puck drop behind me inside Plus Bell. The rematch between the Devils and the Rocket. Only a few skaters on the ice this morning for Binghamton. They have wrapped up. They were out there with assistant coaches Sergey Breeland and Ryan Parent along with goaltending development coach Scott Clementson. It was the home opener last night for the Laval Rocket and prior to the game, Devils head coach Mark Dennehy had talked about really weathering that early storm against the Rocket. However, Laval put up four goals in the first period and he said they came as advertised yeah you know what uh, I'd say the first uh, mm -hmm. four or five shifts um, it just it wasn't it wasn't necessarily pretty hockey but there wasn't much going on and then um, you know we, we did a lot of self-inflicted damage uh, I liked how he answered their first goal you know we got a power play goal came right back um, but literally on the next shift uh, on the power play give up a shorthanded goal so um, Listen, they're, they're good at what they do. Uh, they're a straight line team, as we said. They, they were ad, as advertised. Um, you know, they want to go north south. Uh, they, they get pucks to the net with frequency. Um, and, and they don't give up a lot of odd man rushes. I thought we forced a lot of things and, and played right into their hands. So uh, it'll, it'll be uh, interesting to see if, if we bounce back, um, smarten up, take our, take our, uh, our pill, and, uh, and get after it today. Despite the 5-2 loss here last night in Laval, Coach Dennehy did say that he's starting to find out a little bit more about his team each shift in each game. Yeah, but you find you know we're starting to find out more about our team here, and uh, you know the ability to make plays is great uh, when plays are there to be made. When you start trying to manufacture things uh, or trade chances, uh, especially against a team that's not going to trade chances. So uh, Laval's not going to trade chances. They're going to really play tight to the vest here. And uh, if we're not patient, then, uh, you know, what's going to happen, what happened last night will happen again. For the first time this season, it will not be Cam Johnson in net. The Devils are going to go with Mackenzie Blackwood. He will make his first start this afternoon. Yeah, I uh, was glad to get him back. Um, you know, obviously he was with a big club uh, in Europe. And, uh, you know, the time change, kind of getting acclimated, getting some practice under his belt. So he's going to get the start today. Um, you know, saw him at, at, at Prospects Camp, saw him uh, with the main team. Uh, he's got history here. So... Uh, looking forward to, to watching him get in the net and uh, and do what we think he can do. Hope you can join us here this afternoon. It's a 3 p.m. puck drop. We're on the air with the Close Quarters pregame show at 2.45 p.m. on U.S. Country 96.9, also 680 a.m. all over iHeartRadio and the iHeartRadio app, also online at BinghamtonDevils.com. If you want to watch the game, maybe have some college football on the side, but watch the game here today via AHL TV. Don't forget, next weekend, the the Devils back home. Two big games Friday night presented by Olam's. We're giving away a recliner per period against the Syracuse Crunch and then the following night as well it is Pucks in Paws against the Cleveland Monsters presented by All Paws In and the JC Vet Hospital. Bring your dog out to the game. We have a special package now online at BinghamToDevils.com. It comes with a Devils Dog Bowl, a red one. So uh, you're not going to want to miss out on that. Also yesterday the Devils announcing that after the devastation from Hurricane Mike down south this past week. It'll be an $18 ticket special to either game, Friday or Saturday, or both games if you wish. $5 from each ticket are going to go back to the American Red Cross and the Hurricane Relief Fund. Also, we're going to have some autographed Devils items up for raffle on the concourse. We'll also put some online, so download that Dash app here today, and you can be able to bid for some awesome items online, all for a great cause. We'll also announce what else is going on during the game to help raise some money for those affected by the hurricane. Again, don't forget 3 p.m. puck drop here for another edition of Devil's Game Day from Plus Bell in downtown Laval on Devil's Vision. I'm Rob Lapolis.